Yeah. All right, yeah, mutual, I put mine on the floor in case the vibration. Yeah, gets well, it's got a pretty hard vibration. It is. Knocking. I gotta say, it knocks your cock off. That's for sure. That's why I put in my. That's why I put in my pants when I'm not using it. What's this? <laughs> Ask Colleen to text me. <laughs> oh yeah. I lost the guy into my dick. Nine volts. <laughs> Nine All right, volts. so you two. It's like taking. You two, make sure you're um, you're talking in your mic. You guys, I'm ready. All right, I think I'm ready. Big V. Yeah. Naked V. Yeah. <sighs> Naked V. I love it. I know. We're still second. trying to figure out where the joke. But came only from. with Korean V coming in a close second. Oh, Korean V. <laughs> 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 All right. Death to North Korea. <laughs> hey, it's not that kind of show. Not yet. <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome to the Crew Roundtable Podcast, brought to you by CrewRoundtable.com, a roundtable discussion of all the hot news affecting the greater Toronto area, featuring Big V, Marco, Gino, and JR, and now your host of the Crew Roundtable, the champ who runs the camp, Sal Champ. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Crew Roundtable. I'm your host Sal Champ and in this first season two of the Crew Roundtable, first day back, uh, I have with me Naked V. Welcome. Giggity, giggity goo, giggity, giggity goo. Wow. <laughs> Marco, I can't, I can't, I can't top that. Uh, good evening. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, Gino, welcome back. Champ, thank you very w- much for once again running this camp. I cannot wait to get back on the horse after a wonderful summer break. Uh, I, I'm anxious to get started, and I know our listenership is waiting for us to hear all the hell that we are about to unleash into the world. All right, run for cover. And last but not least, we have J Ra. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, champ. I'm just I'm so glad to be back at the the round table the, today, and uh, looking forward to another good uh, to a really good season too. Creative juices have been flowing all summer. Great. So I just want to remind everyone before we start that we have our website www.crewroundtable.com. Catch us there for our posts and all the shows available on the crew roundtable network don't forget to subscribe to our twitter at crew roundtable and you can also suggest shows when you use the hashtag ask the crew anyway for this for this episode we, we've got i'm gonna have to cut that out give me a second ah. for this episode the topic here is uh, grand romantic gestures why do we glorify them uh, instead of just calling it stalking and for this episode we're gonna we're gonna kick it off we're gonna let j Raw kick it off thank you champ um i came up with the, I, I suggested this topic for this day i figured well we may not have been fully qualified to be talking about uh black lives matter we're not the greatest uh, and as straight guys we weren't super qualified for the transgender conversation but as, uh, as 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 a crew uh, as as a show made up of men, I think this was one we really needed to tackle. I think I brought up back in the uh, in the online dating episode. I mentioned that we gotta guys have to start policing themselves for guys doing under bad behavior, and this is this is one this this uh, came up recently in the news. I believe back in um, early September. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mention the guy's name, but someone in Bristol, England. Uh, got dumped by his girlfriend. So his response, instead of you know moving on, he set up a va- he set up a fucking piano in uh, in the fr- in, 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 in in the front yard of of his of his university, vowing to play un- the piano until he takes her until she takes him back. And this guy was rained all sorts of hell on Twitter and social media, meaning for the plain fact that he's basically stalking her 
He wasn't following her, but he had put the he basically put the piano where he knew she would be crossing to get to her classes. And essentially trying to make her the bad guy in the breakup. And like this guy's got some fucking balls. I think he ended up getting punched in the face. But by her? No, no, by someone, one of the bystanders who really took offense to this. And, uh, you know, and th- this is brought up a couple, a bunch of articles that I was reading. And it's like, well, of course he did something like this. Movies and media feed this to us every fucking day. Where if you want someone, all you ha- especially if it's a guy who wants a woman, all you have to do is pursue her <coughs> relentlessly <coughs> to demonstrate how much you love her. And she will eventually break down and, and realize this and then fall into your arms. <laughs> Unfortunately, in the real world, we call this fucking stalking. And it's against the law. Does anyone else have an opinion on this? So, why, why do you think this like this theme exists in movies then? Like, if it's, if it's not based on something that's, that's, you know, that's both sexes admire in real life, then how did it make its way into all these movies? Well, I mean, in, mo- in most cases, you know, th- th- there's the heteronormativity of media where the guy has to get with the woman, right? I, I-, I would imagine there's a little tinge of, uh, of the, um, the writer themselves having to uh, kind of putting themselves in that, in that, uh, in that boat. You know, it's it's just difficult to romanticize a scenario where let's say where it works out right on that right at the beginning, right? I can see that it's hard to make a movie about that, but it doesn't mean you should be making a movie like that. I mean, I guess there's a difference if like this that specific case is they were in a relationship, he got dumped, and he decided to go on this kind of offensive, as opposed to not being in a relationship yet and trying to woo a woman doing the same type of thing. Exactly. Right? Like strumming strumming a lute under her window in the evening, right? Uh, Precisely. Well, that's right. the, that isn't that the big isn't like, that the big uh, turning point in uh, say anything where the or is that the what the movie is? I can't remember. Oh, High Fidelity. High Fidelity where dude uh, dude bro shows up in, in front of her house with the with the fucking speaker and that magically is supposed to show him how, how much she loves Although I'm presuming that she had already said no like six times before that point. I never saw the movie. I haven't either, but it, uh, I, it, it was in my research. It was like one of the one of the top five uh, moments, uh, stalking moments. Oh, like, right. He's like apparently seeing as he's probably already been rejected several times. He yeah, I mean after shows I think after, up in front of the house after is, a girl says no a few times. I think I think you got to get the message. Well, right? it's, like, it's like we said in, in the in the episode uh, in our in the crew roundtable bites episode one. You know, when somebody says no, that's the end of the conversation. You, 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 there's no continuing to pr- pr- pursue someone. Like, I wonder, I wonder if it stems from, you know, there's that, like, a more of a historical context, right, where we, 100 years ago, women had to play coy and, you know, couldn't kind of give in to men, at, at, you know, at their first whim, let's say, right? They had to kind of play hard to get because that was kind of, they were expected to play hard to get. So, I'll gi- so, okay, I'll give you so that, but to be still like persistent, right? Like I think these things exist in movies, not out of somebody's malice intent, right? I think there probably was a time where men just had to do those types of things to had to chase to, a, chase to, the woman. Yeah. Types of what things? Yeah, like strumming the anything from playing music to beating or killing up another man. It all depends on which <laughs> era it was. Are you like, so is killing another human being is that stalking? I don't know. I'm just following a marker. Follow, follow. But we we don't we're not living in those times anymore. Oh, no. right? And the, and, I and this is I, I, my research is like up to fifth. It, it, it's estimated like fifteen percent of women will experience stalking in their lifetime. Mm-hmm. I, I can only so imagine what's a lot of, of that. men. What? What's the percentage of men? It didn't say about. No, it didn't say men. men. Well, should we look into that as well? Why are we leaving it so only this one, uh, one part of the conversation? Because men, per, per, men present a greater danger to women than women do to men. 
Mm -hmm. Men are generally more aggressive and are generally bigger and stronger than women. I'm not saying men don't get don't get stalked by women. That definitely does happen. I'm not going to disagree with that. But it, it, a lot more women have their stalking stories than, than guys do, and and, it, and it, it, a lot more women are more afraid of men. You know. I mean, I guess uh, it's possible men will stalk men. Yeah. I would imagine that happens in the gay community too, no. but and it's a small. I imagine it's a smaller population, so the numbers are much smaller. But I wouldn't mind being <clears throat> serenaded underneath my window. What if you didn't like the person? What if you were actually turned <laughs> off by the person? That's that's the whole point. It's like we think it's great, but at the same time, there's lots of women that we don't want to have chasing us because we don't like them. We're not attracted to them. They weird us out. But nobody really takes that into account. Mm -hmm. They are always like, "Oh, I wish I had a hot woman, Sarah, you know, chasing after me." Well, what if you were really into this it's person? It's not going to be hot. <laughs> exactly. Well, well, yeah, exactly. What if you weren't into this person? Uh, that's that's uh, kind of thing isn't appropriate. And if, if you've been dumped, that's even even less appropriate. Mm -hmm. I think the only I don't even know if you'd call it a, a rom com. It's like the the movie with the, the breakup with Jennifer Aniston and. Um, uh, Vince Vaughn. Yeah, Vince Vaughn. I mean, I can't remember. I can't remember if it was supposed to be po poised as, uh, as a, uh, a as a rom com because it wasn't that funny. And mm -hmm. it definitely, and in the end, they actually don't end up getting back together. But he at least grows from the breakup. If anything, mm -hmm. that's like the most appropriate thing. Where she breaks, she dumps him. He kind, I, I, you know, there was some strife until. Uh, John Favreau's character is like, dude, when have you ever done anything you didn't want to do mm -hmm. for anybody else? And, he, and then when he kind of, he kind of wakes up that he's like, he's been a tremendous asshole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he like changes his ways and he's like chatting with her. And then they end up like walking enough in different directions. Right. And it's like, well, that's, well, you know what? That's reality. You don't, you don't get the person back. That's why it's called breaking up. Mm -hmm. So did you actually read this article? Uh, I read, mo I read some of it. Yeah. Okay, you know this article is clickbait, right? And you're a giant fish. They no, but the, the, it, 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 it's it's I've read other articles, not just no, this one. This article, this article is clickbait. Okay, this author does not know what they're talking about. The, the, explain. Okay, so every example they give in this article of stalking is not stalking. Site. Okay. Yeah, give 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 an example. Are you saying so, it doesn't meet the legal definition? I'm saying it's not stalking by any definition. Okay. So the, the main graphic that accompanies this article online, right under the banner headline, is a shot from a movie called Love Actually. Mm -hmm. It makes, makes reference to that movie quite a bit in the article. There is no stalking in that movie. The fact that the guy, isn't there the big scene where he goes to the, the, his, his friend's house in order to woo the, the woman he stands out in front of the house and, and like throws a... That does the poster board scene that doesn't uh, sound like pursuing someone that you shouldn't be pursuing. Have you seen Love Actually? No, I have not seen Love Actually. Okay, so I watch it at least a couple times a year. You have almost everything wrong in your description of that scene. What happens in that scene? Okay, so in that scene, the guy, Rick Grimes, mm -hmm. right from okay. The Walking Dead, okay, takes place between him and the Karen Knightley character. The, or no, is it Karen? No, not Karen. Uh, Sienna. Uh, fuck, what's her name? I can't remember. Anyways, so that lady, the scene with the clip with the cardboard that's falling from his hand and doing whatever. The reason that happens is because that guy has been secretly in love with his best friend's girlfriend since they met. Yeah, they kind of said that. Yeah. And the reason why it comes out is because their wedding photographer screwed things up. So she went over and this guy was taping for the whole wedding. She said, can I see your footage of the wedding? It would really help me out. And he was like, no, I don't think you should see it, blah, blah, blah. Da, da. And she basically forced him to show the footage. And she noticed, oh, well, there's a nice shot of her coming down the stairs. Oh, nice. And so she gets all smiley and happy. And then another shot of her in the church, really nice, tight shot of her face. Oh, well, okay. I wonder why you didn't tape your best friend, too. Then at the reception, video of her dancing, but only her. And it finally starts to dawn on her. That's kind of creepy, actually. That, yeah, it finally starts to dawn on her that there is something. There's feelings between 
the guy and her. The guy, the guy being Rick the Grimes. best, the best friend, the Rick Grimes, is he the videographer? Rick Grimes is the videographer. Yes. His best okay. friend is the one that got married. So basically his best friend just married this girl. And now it came out that he's been secretly in love with her the whole time. Okay. So the secret pining. And then so uh, you, re- you don't think cutting his best friend hey. out of his own wedding is not stalking? Hey, hey, we're not done yet. Go ahead, because you seem to, to be pl- you seem to, to be doing my things. argument for me. So thank you very much. Okay. Keep going. I'm going to win this argument. I'm okay. you, based so, on your explanation of this movie. So the reason why he's there with the placards at the end is to tell her, "I'm moving on," because he realizes he can't stab his best friend in the back. That's where the placards come from. Where he says, "I'll always have feelings for you. They're always going to be from afar." And this is as far as it goes. And at that point in That's time... That's creepy, dude. Just, just okay. you, get, you don't need to say that to somebody. Guess what? I loved you, but I'm not going to. Bye. Okay. That, 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 that's fucking stalking to make an announcement you don't need to make. So the, so, the, so the stalking was so incredibly bad that this lady had no clue what was going on. So if that's your definition of stalking, number one, you're wrong. Stalking Number is good. Two, good stalking is when they don't know what's going on. That's the that's the whole point of stalking. Yeah, that's the whole point. Yeah, that's why you, that's why people go and get arrested on people's houses. That's why they send threatening letters. That's why the law gets involved because they don't know the stalking's going on. This person is stalking them in secret. That's just because he's not getting happens. caught. Okay, then you're probably right. I'll give you that. Uh, but wait, just because he's not getting movie. caught and she doesn't know doesn't mean it's okay. Excuse me, we're not we're not done with the movie yet. Okay, keep the, going because I'm, I'm I'm liking your argument I, on my I, point. I think I think the what only, you're trying to get at is this guy admired her from afar, and he didn't do anything about it. Now the only example of stalking that takes place in this movie is by a female secretary to her boss, which borders on sexual harassment. Fair enough. Well, it's technically not sexual harassment because she doesn't have the power and the the, the employment power. You can justify it however you want. I suggest but it's you still want. stalking. I'm not saying it's not stalking. have employment power to sexually harass somebody? That's the definition of sexual harassment. But when you when you have when you have that, it, it, because you cannot part uh, of it is, is that, that you do not that the have the, the ability of to fight back. Harassment? Because from my understanding is sexual harassment doesn't even have to be in the workplace. You can't can sexually harass else. your boss. They'll fire you for harassment. It's the other way around. It's the other way around. It's usually the other way around because Benny, the Benny, person in power to to you, has, the, has the ability to get away with it. I harass a co-worker who is not my boss at work. You can, but it doesn't go anywhere. Versa. It doesn't go anywhere. What do you mean? If it goes to HR, it goes everywhere. It's you, still sexual usually harassment. Sexual harassment that goes for long periods of time usually involves a superior harassing the Usually. Subordinate. You just said usually, which means it's not always. Which then means you, that gonna, is not the definition. Fight, if you're going to harass someone who can fire you, you're an idiot. It generally doesn't happen that way because it's the, the power imbalance doesn't Mark, work. Mark, is it okay if I sexually harass you right now just to prove my just, point? He's just it's saying not it's, harassment if you ask. He's just saying it's oh, more uh, severe. Now it's That's a good point. It, it, it's he's more severe and it goes on severe, longer. Right? If, okay, if a colleague if, of yours harasses you, you're going to nip it in the bud because it's just a colleague, but he's saying it's more severe. If it's, if it's your boss harassing you, you're going to have, you're, you're going to feel like you can't Nip it in thank you, so, so, thank you, Mark. The, the definition of sexual harassment. Let's Th- thank you, I, I Marco. Need, let's let Gino finish. Yeah, continue. So the whole point is, this author of this article doesn't know what he's talking about. He throws a lot of words together, throws in a lot of buzzwords. Every single example he uses in his story, and we'll talk about Piano Man here. Okay. Every example you've called out sounds like stalking to me. Again, and getting in people's faces. But you don't understand what stalking is then. Because getting how is someone getting in their face if they don't even know that it's going on? He's still doing it. How is the the, the definition of stalking does not be does not mean you get caught. I'm not talking about getting caught. 
I'm talking about stalking being you are going and you are physically pursuing somebody. There are many celebrities who are physically pursued. That's why they have gates on their houses. That's they get one people, aspect. They get people arrested because there's people breaking into their property. There's people sending them threatening letters. There's yeah. people sending them communication that they don't want. It's much akin to my relationship with Rogers Communication, where they keep sending me stuff, and I want them to go take a flying fucking. <laughs> Rogers is feeling you up when you okay. go ahead. So, the, every uh, the but, fact that he he he's he's following her with her the video camera. She paid him to use the video, filming. That's practically stalking right there because he completely cut out the, the boyfriend. The whole video was just of her. That wasn't creepy. Are you saying he was that? not the wedding photographer? You just said he was. No, okay. no, no, no. The wedding photographer screwed up. She went to him to say, can I see your footage of the wedding? He, he was not. He, he was not the wedding photographer. He's just a guy with a camera. He's known these people for years All and right, nothing okay. has ever so, happened. So he, so he, so Grimes was doing his own photography yes. and it was just of her. Yes. That doesn't seem really weird. It's not stalking the way this article is trying to perpetrate it's that still it's people it's still pursuing a, it's, someone else. It's oh my god. Okay, so it's stalking light. It's still stalking. He's still pursue. He's still like. It would, it would it would be different if he was doing it at night with a mask on and videotaping her. Is it only? Is that the only time it's different? Is because he's being in, he's kind of upfront about it that that makes it what's not stalking. What doesn't make it stalking? The fact that he's not get, he was he was doing it so secretly. What doesn't make it stalking is according to this article. This article is about the relentless pursuit of the other. This is about men. This article is about men going out and using their power in society to relentlessly pursue someone and impose their will on someone else. But none of the examples in this article have anything to do with that. They're talking about Big Bang Theory. With all these jokes about from these super smart people saying, "Oh, he finally just wore me down." Yeah. Okay. And uh, that, that was uh, I saw that I've seen that right. comment several places. Yes. Right now, I'm not a fan of Big Bang Theory, but are we supposed to believe that any of the dweebish characters on Big Bang Theory are really sexual predators? That they're swinging coxman alpha males? ready to pounce on someone are we supposed to believe that any woman on that show could not put any man on that show in their place with nothing but a glance well it was in in in, in the big bang theory it wasn't actually stalking he, he he was just they were the next door neighbors the comment that he wore her down is the only weird weird citation and how it. did he do that by not leaving her alone yes by, by basically it, being in her life as the friend you know being by her side, he, by put, put can't, basically he, I, I've seen this in several places. I saw okay, but this. is that really that? Even the is piano guy, such a the piano thing? guy set up a piano. Somewhere. Knowing he was going to be seen. Yes, he, knowing he, he was going he, to be seen. He verbally put out this, oh, she left me, she left me and now I'm going to try to win her back. As if trying to make her, now she's the bad guy. Because he's the oh look how romantic he is for for doing this and, and being so public about his love, but all he's doing is he's turning the tables. Where now she's the evil bitch, the heartless bitch. How could you not take this guy back? I he, never he, said that that guy wasn't an idiot for doing it. That's no, but this is what and he's I doing. Do it. But this but is the, this is the narrative that, he's weaving. But I don't think that counts as stalking. He's. Basically is he going play, around with a one-man band on his shoulders and following her through the subway and he's playing play, Oompa Loompa for her? He plays take, take me back, take me back, take me back. He placed himself in a position that he knew she was going to cross through every day. Uh, I think he's, this putting article, in her, he's putting himself in his path on a whole <clears> campus. <throat> this article, every single sentence that I read in this article, quote from the article, perhaps we can start calling adult grown-up women girls. There is an entire show on HBO made by adult grown up women called girls. Every single thing that this guy says in this article makes no sense. I find no value to it. It's a giant clickbait article. I'm not saying that stalking's not an issue because like you, I went through, I did some prep for the show and there is an issue with stalking. It turns out it's about 75% uh, females that experience the stalking, 25% males coming from mm -hmm. whomever. So there's some imbalance there that people need to, you know, look at, but it's a much more nuanced uh, uh, issue 
than what this article makes it out to be. So I have no issue with you bringing up the art, bringing up the issue, or sorry, I have no qualms with you bringing up the issue saying stalking is something that we should talk about because I think that uh, I think that Tito was saying the exact things that he was supposed to say, where he said, uh, um, why you know there's something in our society that makes that 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 makes that myth prevail. There's something in our collective unconscious where the male is supposed to go out, separate himself from everyone else, perform is, some grand act, and come back. And that goes all the way back to the Homeric myths, where but but the something the, and, and that something is, is these movies. These movies enforce no, the that. No, something kind is not. The something is not these movies. These movies. It don't is these movies. Anything. These movies don't enforce anything. They are may, they are maybe poor representations of something that is already there underneath in the background. But this article, as I said, this article number one, clickbait. The issue you bring up has merit, and I think that, and and I think that we were on the right track exploring it by saying, what is it that's underneath that? What is it that's underneath this grand romantic gesture? Because there is such a thing as a grand romantic gesture. It's not a one-to-one -one mapping that you do a grand romantic gesture and it's stalking. I refuse. It's to a grand romantic that. gesture and it's stalking when the person is already pointed out that they are not interested in you if you do a grow around romantic gesture to someone you're actively in a relationship with that's not that's not stalking because they've invited you into their life i'm not but, but in, in most romantic movies that's not the case they don't do this to someone they've already established a relationship with and, that, and generally this this behavior is encouraged when they want to change somebody's mind and you've never done anything extraordinary or out of the ordinary to change someone's mind about no. anything Never. When someone says they're not interested in me, I turn no, 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 and find no, someone else. What, that's not what I said. You're trying to convince us right about, now that this I'm is talking stalking. I'm talking about anything. <laughs> I'm talking what, about the, what, what, the candles aren't doing it for you, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> you invite me into your home. Well, you invite me into the champ's home. <laughs> Ply me with liquor. That was me. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying but the fact, the but fact you that these... understand where I'm coming from, right? I'm... I'm, 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 I'm I'm not saying, I'm not saying it didn't. I'm not saying. Issue. I'm not saying the romantic comedies invented it. They are amplifying it, and they're they, they they are telling stories in which this behavior is highly successful. How is someone? How is a teenager who doesn't know how the fuck the world works, who's probably never been in a relationship, how are they supposed to distinguish the fact that this actually doesn't work when they're when they're sitting there wanting, they're they're sitting there wanting a relationship. And this movie, while I agree it's not present, it's being presented as fiction, but you watch seven or eight of these things, and they all have the same storyline, the same behavior. It's going to imprint that hey, maybe this is what women actually want. Maybe this is how I'm supposed to get the girl. And nobody is sit around telling him otherwise. He's not getting a counterpoint from his friend saying, "No, you don't do this." She said no. Go find somebody else to, to say yes. This is not how you do it. Nobody's giving them this counter advice. They're only getting one side of the argument, and so they only get what. So that's all they're picking up on. That's my problem, and that's why I want to have this conversation. Is 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 if you're listening to this uh, this podcast and you think that's the way to win somebody over, believe me, it's not. It is not. Mm -hmm. You're probably right. Do you think I don't? I don't think the grand romantic gesture works anyway. It probably doesn't. Because I, if not, you I'm, have I'm, to go through, if you have to go through and set that high of a bar with somebody, then you constantly have to do that because at the first drop of a hat of any discord, the other person is going to be like, "Oh well, I guess I made a mistake," and then you have to redouble your efforts and try even harder to make an even bigger grand romantic gesture. You know, see, apparently, to show that, yeah, exactly. Apparently, person, but these these shows. These movies and TV shows uh, make it seem like persistence is important. I, I, and this, just to give you another example, I watched uh, Doctor Who uh, as a series I watch, and they do a Christmas episode every year. Last year, they had an episode about this kid who gets accidentally gets superpowers when he was a child, and he's he essentially becomes a superhero. He has this crush on this one girl. What does he end up doing? He becomes a superhero by night. And he becomes this girl's fucking nanny by day. He is the goddamn nanny because he wants to be near her in any context, even if they can't be romantic. 
even though he's got this raging hard on for her. Okay, but is that and is hoping is that stalking? It is stalking because there's ulterior motive there. Th- he's doing it because he wants feel, her in his life at any cost. Right, that's stalking. But I feel it's there's something different about it. It doesn't have the same d- bad taste in my mouth that that overt stalking does. It's right? not because he's not trying to harm her, but it does. It's still wrong. It's still wrong. Because he's not being upfront with her. He's lying to her. It skeeves me out. The whole thing I'll is based on a lie. Money. Because if she knew that he had the hots for her, she would have fired him. Right. He's Right now he's playing the the neutered male puppy dog and trying to appear harmless. Yet, at the same time, he's there. It's, it's because the whole thing is predicated on a lie. You know, I guess like a really scaled up parallel would be the guy who stands outside your window watching you through the window, you don't see him watching you, but mm-hmm. he's watching you and masturbating into your bushes. Exactly. Right? Like, I think we can all agree that's that's revolting. Well, right? that's that's mm-hmm. that's right? criminal. So right, right. But she doesn't know what's going on. The, well, right. it, but it is it different than it, 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 matter, is it right? different if he uh, if he finishes jerking off, wipes his hands on his pants, throws some rocks at her, at her window, and then when she opens the window, he plays the piano for her. Right. Yeah, no. What the hell kind of example is that? How did you jump to that? Because I'm trying to see, I'm trying to find out when this scenario stops being wrong, and, and, and when everyone because right. you're ta- you seem to think that if it's not done with malice, it's it's not stalking. Like when does this behavior stop being wrong, and why are we are we arbitrarily saying this is okay because he really likes her, and this is not right okay because he actually doesn't like her or he wants her in a bad way. He only wants her sexually, whereas this one is being demented, de- being depicted romantically. Like if there's malice involved, then obviously that can, clearly it's you know, wrong. Then, right. But the thing is, but the, rege- but the problem is, re- it may start off innocent, and the rejection may be make it maliceful. So if you stop, if if we if we were at least teach our sons and, and daughters, in his in in, Eugene, in in Gino's example, the girl is also stalking, but it's being portrayed as a heavy negative. Which which example? Is, I gave many. The the <laughs> female the females example where she's stalking the, the the boss from Love Actually. Yes, her her the way she is being depicted, there is no argument that that is is wrong, even though she is coming from a different angle. But this other guy is being more subtle about it, and suddenly we are not interpreting that as stalking, even though he went to a vet he went to his best friend's wedding and filmed nothing but his girlfriend. The fact that he had to, instead of just like disappearing into the shadows and waiting for her to reach out to him and saying, oh, I don't think this is right. I'm not going to do this. For some godforsaken reason, he had to go up in front of her, enter into her face and tell her that he suddenly he's in love with her and he's going to walk away. Are you equating? You have to like tell her this. Are you equating a woman who spent months overtly pursuing her boss to the point of getting dressed up in her sexiest outfit to rub up on him in a dark corner at the company Christmas party to a guy with placards who went to someone's house to say, I'm leaving you alone? Yes, I'm, 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 I'm actually going to compare the two. Yeah. You are already drunk, sir. You are already drunk. <laughs> they are both inappropriate. I never. I'm not questioning I'm not that. Say, I'm, I'm not I'm saying, that. What I'm saying, though, is that the the movie is saying that his behavior is okay. Uh, I'm not saying you are, uh, but I'm saying the movie the is movie it? is saying that he is being a nice guy. That he's bowing out. It's being pro- he's being present he's being presented as being uh, chivalrous because he has decided to bow out in the most obvious way possible. Is it? Is it really? Because one of the best, I one, so. of the, one of the excellent parts of that movie is that they show the good and the bad in a in in a litany of relations. I don't think the guy comes off as squeaky clean as you're making him out to be. I don't think that character walks away by yes. At the end, he's got a smile on his face. The girl, um, Sienna Miller, I just her name just cracked mm-hmm. into my head. Sienna Miller, her character, even after the door is closed and he's walking away. She comes out, runs down the street, gives him a big hug, goes back inside her room, right? Even with that ending, the genius of this movie 
is that it shows it really goes a, a long way towards showing different relationships coming from both sides and I don't think the guy walks away as squeaky clean as you might be making about she, g- she gave him a hug okay, Th- that, that's, that's the, the movie character. terminology of saying it's okay all is forgiven the movie itself is forgiving him for his behavior because he suddenly decided to a- after this insanity why, he made a big production out of walking away okay that's the character Right? That's what the character is doing. Yes. Okay? But there are other instances, um, especially the, with the, the female sexually harassing her boss. Um, I'm not making any... any no, any No. no, any, no, uh, no. no. Uh, what, what, I'm, what, what I'm getting at is the feelings mm-hmm. between the boss and the secretary eventually come out. And the wife is made aware of it. Now, there's no technical cheating that went on between the boss and the secretary. Mm-hmm. There may have been some emotional cheating that happened because the boss simply acted like a very weak man. He did not nip this in the bud right away. He allowed things to fester. He allowed things to get bigger than they were. And you're left with a very frosty relationship between the husband and wife. We don't see the relationship between the best friend and Rick Grimes. Because I'll tell you right now, that would be a much different discussion. Oh, I the totally female, agree with you. The female character may turn around and say exactly what you're saying. May play into, may play into the whole. Oh, you know, he he tried. You know, he kept it to himself. Tried really hard. Now he said he's going to go away. What a great guy. Blah blah blah. He was a he was a good friend. He never tried to do anything. He never tried to break us up. If the husband found out what was going on, with those videos. It's not gonna, he can't turn around and say, well, your wife gave me a big hug after and I just walked away. So we're cool, right, bro? Like, it's not, like, it's, it's, <clears throat> it's, it's not as black and white as it's made out to be, which is why I was really upset that they use love, actually, because there's much better examples and it's a fantastic movie to well, show the fact, some of the, the things The fact that, that they you're don't about. have the, her husband weigh in, the fact that they conveniently don't have him get involved, and she forgives him for this. That every part of what Rick Grimes' character does, it, I'm just gonna call him Rick Grimes. I don't know yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Just call him, is, call him Rick uh, Grimes. Every be, just because it's done, some because we're supposed to feel sympathy for him. It's, it's done in a way to make us feel sympathy for him. If anything, Rick Grimes does a grand romantic gesture for his friend who's getting married. He has them come and sing. He has the uh, he has the horn section play Beatles music at the church. And they're just, everyone is just flabbergasted at this. And that was his grand romantic gesture for his best friend. That's doesn't work because he's not romancing his best friend. He's not romancing the girl either. Well, apparently he wanted to. He wasn't specifically romancing her. But the fact that he came out. But he didn't. And to, to, to tell her, oh, I have all these feelings for you, but I'm walking away. It's not required. You don't have to tell somebody you're breaking up with them if you were never together with them to begin with. That's just needlessly inserting yourself. He did not need to needlessly insert himself so you're into upset, their relationship. So you're upset that he was taking pictures of her, and then you're also upset that he went to tell her he's not doing it anymore. After she realized. So he's screwed either way, in your opinion. In that method? Yeah. That, that's not the way you do that. I still when she confronts... You, you you stop you step away and you just stop doing it. He doesn't have to like walk up to the front door and grant. Continue finish your. It doesn't have to walk up to the front door and and make this big hoopla in front of her because he's walked up right to her front door. I mean, it did he has take, to take it right to it, her. I mean, it took a lot of effort to make those placards too. I don't understand oh, yeah, why I'm you sure would do. Oh yeah, sure. Dollarama. Uh, Anyways, and so far away. <laughs> Thank well, you. Well, in England, from Dollarama is pretty far from here. We're going to have to close off this discussion, but uh, let's give uh, final thoughts. Quick quick round around the table. Big V? Naked V? <coughs> I don't have any on this comment on the subject at all. <laughs> Fair enough. He, uh, has, he has never performed a grand romantic gesture, ever. It is totally foreign to him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, probably. But I, that's good. I, I, I proposed to my wife uh, uh, on the couch of her parents' home. It worked up fairly well. <laughs> oh, the couch. He got his wife because she got pulled into his gravitational field and <laughs> has not yet been able to escape. Marco, <laughs> final thought. Uh, I see what J. Ra is uh, talking about. Um, I guess it's hard to... 
it's it's hard for me to really understand because you know I guess most of the time it's not based in malice so it's not as if you're doing it to hurt someone you know you you, you have maybe some psychological problem you think you're in love with this person <coughs> pining away for them is it stalking I don't know but you know the fact that there's on the surface of it no malice involved I, I don't know it's hard for me to point fingers Thank but you, I, Margo. I see what you're I see Thank what you're you, saying. Margo. Gino, final thought? Uh, I want to say that I agree with what JR was saying. It's an issue that should be brought up uh, because it can lead some people down roads that they don't want to go down or that mm -hmm. they shouldn't go down. Um, no one should have to put up with harassment or stalking um, or bullying or anything like that, especially in our, in our, if we're going to have a productive society going forward. Um, my whole issue is simply just the article, the author, the uh, I, I, I don't think he fully understands what he's saying, and he's using a lot of words, trying to shoehorn <coughs> them in. It's as if reading this, he got uh, a commission to write an article, give me X number of words by tomorrow at 3 o'clock, and he just started the verbal diarrhea. Um, so I don't think he thought long and hard about what he was writing. And with all of that being said, again, JR brought an excellent point to the table. I'm glad we were able to generate some good discussion on it. Yes, uh, and final thought, Jr. Thank Rob. you, Gino. I mean, I'll you know what? I'll concede this article. I don't. I, I'm not going. I'm not married to this article, but um, <laughs> I'm. Uh, you're I, not, I've seen. You're I've not seen a, stalking this article. Not, <laughs> I'm not stalking this article. Uh, the article wants to go its own direction. My I'm thoughts. just letting it go. My but uh, I, I've read other. I, I read several articles on this. It, 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 you know, a lot of there have been study. There has been. A, there was a study released in February of this year. That demonstrate that that young uh, young people um, have uh, the, what they feel that what 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 they feel is romantic has largely been shaped from television. And you uh, wait till the outro to bring up this article. It just kind of it just kind of twenty minutes ago. It just kind of it just, just kind of cut minute, the line. Mark, part it two. Came to, part it, two. It we need a part two. <laughs> and Sorry, it, it does skew the mind, and 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 th this kind of behavior we have to. While we don't expect what we, why we don't expect um, Hollywood to change what they're doing, what we need to start doing is talking to our young people, our children. You know, if you have a daughter, tell them that this is not considered romantic. If you have a son, you know, tell them this is not acceptable behavior. You know, uh, it's not. You know, this is not because usually it's the men, It's when men do this on in the movies that it's okay, and when women do it in the movies, they're crazy women. Uh, I'll point out as a quick example, Wayne's World. In the first Wayne's World, oh, his ex-girlfriend yeah. was treated as a lunatic. You know, Tracy was stalking him. It was pretty blatant. Uh, in the second movie, when his girlfriend Cassandra leaves him for, uh, what's his face? Rob uh, Lowe. What? Rob Lowe? No, not oh. Rob Lowe. Um, uh, I forget. The guy, the guy, the, the oh. guy who's much harder than him. No, Continue. no, she she gets dumped for um, what's his face, Christopher Walken. Oh, the producer. She's she's the he's the producer. <laughs> the producer. Yeah. She leaves Wayne <laughs> for her producer for whatever reason. Not there's nothing about. Gold he records. does the grand grand romantic gesture to win her back at her wedding, and he was depicted as normal and romantic and appropriate. Do you see how it it is? There's two juxtapositions mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. where when women do it, it's wrong, and when guys do it, it's okay. In the same movie series. Considering that she acted like a whore and went after the bunny by marrying her boss, I say she gets what she deserves. Oh, she took him back. Exactly. 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 She, took, it. she took back a stalker. stalker Hallelujah works. to both of you. So <laughs> it's all about the so birds as I said, and we, the we bees need to, we need and the flowers in the trees. We need to talk to. This is Crazy a conversation thing called need. love. Thank you, J Big V. You need to talk to your kids that that this is not appropriate behavior, you know, and to teach that you need to give a counter message to what Hollywood seems to be pumping into our kids' heads. Mm -hmm. Interesting point. Thank you, J. Ra. This is a great topic. Uh, great points that got me thinking from all around the table, even Naked V here. And um, <laughs> cheers, buddy. But uh, I want to thank everyone here around the table for uh, for participating in in today's discussion. And I want to thank everyone here listening. And uh, just a final reminder, uh, our website, crewroundtable.com. Make sure you log on and uh, check out all our shows like JR Talks and Hot Takes with Gino and the newly released Crew Roundtable Bites with JR and um, Gino. 
And don't forget to visit our Twitter, at Crew Roundtable, and suggest the show and ha- use the hashtag AskTheCrew. And don't forget to tell the guy, please rate and review us on iTunes. Well, yes. and if That you, is really important. And if, you're, if you use iTunes to download our shows, yeah, give us, uh, rate our show so we can appear in the ratings and get some uh, pub- free publicity. Yeah, I have several <laughs> friends that promised to put ratings in, and they still haven't done it. You know who, you're, who I'm talking about. You better go get those cards and go in front of their house then. Exactly. <laughs> we're gonna go, It'll work. With, with It'll the, work. With, It'll with, work. With the boombox. If Hollywood yeah. tells us anything, oh, we'll be time. drowning in ratings. All right. Thanks for listening, everyone, and uh, see you next time. Giggity. <laughs>